Okay. About a day ago, the pump was dropped off. And then last night, I wired it up to this temporary cord, extension cord. And the motor spins. Uh, though not very fast, it does spin. Oops. Um, but it's only 1400 RPM. Um, the tank had a leak in it, in the corner here. <sighs> yeah. But I used a soldering iron and melted it shut. Seems to be holding. Woo. I know the three phase has to run through there. And one of these wires, I, I'm guessing, has to go through through here. So you press the button and pull the lever for safety. So that makes it run. Pressing that makes it run. Let go. It stops running. I'm guessing. I have to look up the uh, wiring diagram to see how that one works. But... Um, I've got some conduit and cable so I can hook it straight up into my power box. Um, I'll run it up there up across the top to there and down because I don't want cables laying on the ground. Oh, just helped my wife move a truckload of fake or oh, synthetic grass so she can finish the backyard um but i'm about to test to see if the pump pumps i think there's enough oil in there to test if the pump is actually pumping up so um it will come out of here um, so it may make a bit of a mess but i'm not going to pump loads let's see Give me a chance, it's a bit tight. Maybe I need to prime it first. Oh. I'll get back to you. I'll, do is I'll prime this, prime the pump, fill it full of oil, because it, it may need to be primed before it will suck it up, and I may put a bit more oil in the tank. But in a minute. Oh. And back, friends. Um, I did everything. I pulled these out, um, not much to see. This one is like a pressure relief spring. Um, but when I took that one out and turned the motor on, I was getting bubbles getting blown in here. So even though I wired these up correctly, I was worried. So I, I swapped two phases around. I'm thinking maybe I don't know where the problem is, maybe with this cord. I don't know what's... But I'm thinking it's wired to spin backwards. Um, so we'll see. God, I hope this works. Um, my uh, plasti weld job with the soldering iron still working, which is good. I actually looked up online, and these are not that expensive. I mean, you can get them from Amazon for like three, four hundred bucks. I'm not sure if they'd be powerful enough for a four-ton hoist, but I thought they'd be more like a grand. This one, I thought the hoist is made in China, but 
the pump is made in Italy. And I, I put Italy pretty close to German stuff mostly. Um, so quite surprised there. Not sure if the pump, the motor is made there too. Italy, yeah, see, Italy. Made Italy, oh yeah. I don't know about the hoist. But this may have been changed at one stage, so. Um, anyway. Do -do 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 -do. Let's see what happens. Oh shit, that's a lot of oil. There you go. It works. Bloody marvelous. Now it's just a matter of hooking up the hydraulic lines and testing the rams. I know there's this fair bit of oil there. That could be from a ram leaking or because the tank was leaking. Who knows? We will see. Um, rams are not that. As long as the, the, the sleeve's not damaged, and you just put O-rings and buckets in. So, um, But, you know, I, I will not use it all day, every day. I'm not going to have five, six different cars in there like a mechanic. So even if it leaks a little bit, I'll just put some sand there. It won't bother me much. I'll just make sure it... Uh, Stays clean. But now I've got to clean this bloody mess up. <laughs> These are no pumps. And a decent amount. <laughs> That's like, what, two seconds? Air and oil. <laughs> anyway. So, it said on the internet, these use mostly, what is it, 40... 46 grade hydraulic oil, 95% of these use 46, the others use 60 something, so I can't find anywhere on here what grade oil, um, so I went for the 95%, I've got a nine, 20 to 1 chance of getting it right, um, they're yeah, made in Qingchong, China, Shanghai, China. I don't know. I doubt China would have brought the pump. So I'd say this is probably placement. But everything seems to match pretty well. So, unsure. Anyway, when I connect the wire up properly, when it's all done properly, um, I'm guessing... If it pumps when it's on, I'm guessing this is to lower it. Um, is that right? Is that to lower? Because you got to lift a little bit, release, and lower. Yeah, this button comes in there somehow. Um. I'll work it out. I've worked it out so far. So far I can work anything out really. If you can make it, you can modify it. Or you can fix it. Um, if, it's, if it's been made, you can remake it the way you want it. And that's for anything. Anything. Some things will be harder than others, but from my experience in life, if you've got something and you want to do something different, but you've got the bases there, you can change it. Just like I lowered this, all I basically have to do is, is shorten the, the, the cable um, to, to keep the two sides balanced. Stop it from going cockeyed like that. Ugh, like that. Um, all right, so. I paid $1,100 for it delivered. So, I was probably 
I probably shouldn't include the cost of the electric cable and stuff wiring it up yeah let's include that I spent a hundred bucks on cable and conduit and and things like that um, I spent sixty odd dollars so eleven twelve twelve sixty uh, nuts and bolts so thirteen hundred dollars I'm imagining roughly this will cost me finished oh, and I still got to buy the bolt so look let's be safe and say one five Australian dollars fifteen hundred Australian finished working unless something else goes catastrophically wrong but I don't think so all all up finished 1500 now i'll get years and years of pleasure out of this and hopefully maybe even my kids in the future i'm holding it with both hands because i'm shaking sorry yeah so you know you're looking at three grand for a new one uninstalled and then you got to again have it hooked up blah 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 installed doesn't say that just delivered so you know, three, three and a half, so you're still looking at four grand. I, I think it's good value. And and it's not, like, a lot of them are like two ton, or two and a half ton. This is four ton. 4,000 kilos, or roughly 8,000 8, pound in America. But instead of 8,000 pounds, we say four ton. I think it says it on the side here somewhere. Nine thousand pound. There you go. Nine thousand pounds, or as we say in metric, four ton. Yeah. Americans love their big numbers. What did I watch on YouTube today? Earlier today, it's telling us how many pounds a ship weighed. <laughs> Why don't they just say, you know, five thousand ton? <laughs> It's like 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 a ship weighs one million pounds. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know, five hundred ton that'll do. <laughs> um, yeah, I reckon that will change one day. One day America will get their act together, won't you guys? And become metric like us, and then mechanics won't need two sets of spanners and two sets of this and two sets of that because two sets of drill bits and everything. You know, because you're a great country, big, massive country that produces a lot. But the rest of the world, you need to catch up the rest of the world when it comes to the measurement. Sorry. Um, I was watching a YouTube clip on people in America being interviewed and they had trouble with the metric system, but they still said they, they should change. Meet up with the rest of the world. So... And this is Americans in America. So, come on America, become metric, join the club. <laughs> anyway, short clip for today. I I'm done for today. Um, I've been up and about around. I've got to pick my kid up from school soon. So, I love you and leave you. Be good and take care.